Mr. Mark and I'm going to show you how to make some PE equipment or things that you can use for your PE classes. This first one is really simple. I use them on all kinds of stuff uh, for all kinds of games and it's a connector for hula hoops but I also use a connector for some other things which you will see later in some of the other videos. So what you need for this is a bag of rubber bands and I like to use some that are pretty thick and these are three and a half inches uh, by a quarter inch so they're kind of heavy duty rubber band uh, you'll need some electrical tape and then you can uh, possibly get some of the PVC pipe this is kind of a flexible And So I'll take these hula hoops, uh, you'll put them together, you run the rubber band behind, pull the blue piece through, and they're hooked. I have a game I call Plunger, and you'll see a video on that. I'm going to show you how to make those plungers, and that game involves the solo cups again. This is what your plunger will look like. It's about 18 inches long, a, a Nerf wand again, and then you have to put in a little bigger piece, uh, and I will show you why you'll do that. You have to use the uh, skinnier swimming noodles. The thick ones are about the same size as the cup, so those will not work. I have one here and I'm going to uh, cut it off at about 18 inches. Let's see here. I usually use a band saw, but like I say, you can, you can cut these pretty easily with, with scissors, stick them halfway through. I'm going to use the remaining portion to make the plunger a little bit, a little bit uh, wider at the one end. So I've cut out a section. That one round is too big, so I need to cut that probably in half. And then I like to use Gorilla Tape. Duct tape will work, but I think Gorilla Tape is just a lot better, lasts a lot longer, takes wear better. It is sticky stuff. And I have cut, I have cut that piece about the same width as the Gorilla Tape. Now I will, I will start with that on the piece that I cut, I will have to kind of press it down a little bit harder. And you may have to go back and readjust them. I'll smooth it out a little bit. Now, this should fit down inside pretty easily. You may have to make it, you may have to take off just a little bit if you have too much on there. But this is the plunger. And when your students play the game, you need to encourage them to hold it low. They cannot use their hands, they have to use a plunger. And in my game, I will fill up the center circle of the, of the basketball court or an area about that size and the cups are 
uh, about this distance apart, one or, one or two inches apart. So they run up there, they're gonna be in a hurry. You want them to hold it low. If they hold it and, th and then they grab that, they'll run back to their home base and they'll build, it, they'll build a tower, a pyramid. If they hold it up high, it's a lot harder to control and they may knock, knock some over or move some around, but they can't use their hands. They have to use the plunger. So look for that video about the plunger dig. We, have, we do lizard racing, and uh, it's pretty simple. I have a 15-foot string. Uh, I found these lizards for a dollar at, at the dollar store, and you can use scrap pieces of PVC. So they're, they're really uh, inexpensive, and it really, it really works this forearm and dexterity, it's a good coordination drill. So we have the lizard races. I got some old tube socks, cut a tennis ball in half, and these are kind of weighted. You could even put sand in them if you wanted to make them a little heavier. But I can use these in uh, relay races, uh, throwing events, I'll be showing some of those things later, but bought a, a two dozen uh, athletic socks, a little bit of electrical tape, and some tennis balls, and I, I cut in half. These cones, I noticed that if you got a cone that was numbered, it was a lot more expensive than just a plain cone. So I bought the plain cones, used a permanent marker. I've had these for a long time, a little bit warm, but you can still read them. 